My name is Victor Rademacher and I'm a paleo artist. Paleo art is taking these ancient bones and, and trying our best to reconstruct um, what these animals look like and trying to breathe some life into these old stone bones. Um, it really helps people connect with, with what we do and really brings what we do to life. You know, we're about to submit a 30-page paper uh, describing some of these animals, and the artwork that Victor's doing summarizes those 30 pages in, in about a quarter of a page worth of space. So the main stars of this piece that I'm currently doing are these weird crocodilian cousins called Rawasukids and Poposaurids. And um, in, the, in modern paleontology, um, we've realized that uh, more and more that theropods and you know, these meat-eating dinosaurs were, were more bird-like and the public doesn't you know, like to think of velociraptor as being a giant death turkey and so people are kind of put off by these things. Um, but poposaurids and rawasukids are really everything that people want dinosaurs to be. They're these big highly active um, crocodile monster dino hybrids. They're really really cool looking and they don't have feathers. So this will probably be, this complicated piece will probably take about between 50 and 60 hours um, from start to finish. Whenever I'm doing the, these artworks, I'm trying to inject some realism, but still inject some sort of drama, and some sort of exciting composition that shows off you know, these animals behaving naturally, but also showing off the scientific relevance of a particular piece that I'm doing. For me, paleo art really is the closest thing that we have to time travel. And it is my job as a paleo artist to take people 230 million years ago into the Triassic of South Africa. And it's, it's an absolute privilege.